This is a very short review of the Leckie Makalu Sherpa XL walking pole system. Leckie are probably recognised as the market leaders in walking poles and they do a number of ranges from budget poles through to specific uh, groups like juniors and ladies poles and they also do an ultralight carbon based pole for series climbers and mountaineers. I was looking for a pole which would be ideal for the Scottish Hills and I wanted good quality and durability. Now these poles are much more durable than the carbon poles and the weight disadvantage for me is negligible. I specifically like the new speed locking system which allows you to make adjustments to the length of the pole whilst you're out and about. Standard poles are really frustrating when you're trying to twist and grip to ensure the pole is secure, particularly in the wet or your hands are cold. This locking system allows you to achieve all of that uh, in any condition, even with gloves on. And Lecky say that the pole locking mechanism is really rigid and secure, so looking forward to trying that out in the hill. The poles come with a wrist strap which is fully adjustable. You should make sure that the pole strap is, is adjusted so that you can put your hand underneath and up through the strap in comfort. I'm not so sure about this white top, probably high visibility but could get very dirty and unsightly in use. Good ergonomic grip. I particularly like this model, has a an extended soft grip coming down the upper shaft. This allows you to make quick adjustments on the hill if you quickly want to change your hand position. It might also to some extent uh, protect the poles on the hill or if they're getting knocked around in the car it's just uh, less exposed metal to get scratches and dents etc. The poles come in three sections and as you can see the poles have the markings on them which allow you once you have your pole set at the correct height which should be your lower arm horizontal when holding the handle if you remember that setting you just ensure that you match up the three sections when you're coming to assemble the pole and if you get used to coming downhill you might want to have a preferred setting as well you can see here the how the three sections look lying side by side. If you do buy a more expensive pole one of the things you're really getting is the quality of the carbide tip. Cheap poles have a steel tip which tends to slide around in ice or snow and also wear very quickly. These carbide tips are ideal for giving you that extra security and sense of um, rigidity when you're climbing or trying to find a good position to put some weight in the pole. Here's the pole assembled. One final thing for me is Lecky do three different anti-shock systems and there are videos online which show which anti-shock system you may have on your pole. I specifically avoided anti-shock. The Sherpa XL doesn't come with anti-shock. For me any moving parts signals wear and tear and it was interesting looking at the Lecky website where it asked you to be aware of which one you had whenever you are contacting customer services. So I prefer a rigid pole, although it's really down to individual choice whether you go for anti-shock or not. So now hopefully get these out in the hill and perhaps put another video together in the near future based on how they actually perform out in the field.